If it's not about saving money, what is it about? Whenever I do a national keynote speech or customized coaching session for a sales team, I make it a point to speak with several rock stars in the client's organization who are really knocking the ball out of the park. The highest performers always have offering specific lessons that the rest of the sales team could learn for increasing their sales. A large controls manufacturer recently asked me to present a general session keynote at its national sales meeting. As I was preparing my remarks, I had the pleasure of speaking with one of the rock stars. I asked him, to what do you attribute your success selling controls in the laboratory segment? He responded that he specialized in controlling the energy used to power exhaust hoods in critical environments like labs, and that by doing so, he could reduce a facility's energy use by more than half. In fact, he gave me the example of a lab for which he had reduced the bill by more than $350,000 per year. I was certainly impressed. However, I was left wondering why a lab that was large enough to save that much electricity annually in its fume hoods, a lab that probably did several hundred million dollars of research a year, would take the time away from testing drugs or curing cancer to focus on something as obscure as fume hood fan energy savings, particularly when they'd have to interrupt their operations for several days to implement whatever savings maneuver this rock star ultimately proposed. The rock star set me straight. He said, you don't understand. When I propose a project that will save $350,000 a year, I reframe it as a project that is the equivalent of receiving $350,000 in grants from the National Institutes of Health that my client now doesn't have to apply for and win. Then I reframe that as being enough grant money to fund several more researchers' full-time salaries. In fact, since my gear will continue producing savings for 20 years, it's really the equivalent of getting that client $7 million in quote-unquote grants that they neither have to apply for nor win, all for the temporary inconvenience of working with me for a week or so to change out the lab's fume hood controls. Now granted, the $7 million back of the envelope calculation considered neither inflation nor the time value of money. Still though, this reasoning was really compelling and it connected the dots for a busy lab director who had to be convinced to invest the time and money to focus on something other than finding a cure for cancer or whatever else his team happened to be working on at the time. 